Hey, what's up, guys? Today I am joined again by Curtis from My Designs, and we're going to be talking about another update to My Designs. It seems like you're rolling them out every other month, man, or every month. What's up, Curtis? Hey, what's up, Ryan? It's good to see you again, man. Um, yeah, we're rolling out updates. I'd say every couple of weeks, usually a big update, kind of polishing everything off, getting all the features in place for our infrastructure so that we can hit 2023 the right way and scale fast and add a bunch of new products, a bunch of new printers, et cetera. But Dude, I that's recently, awesome, man. Yeah, thank you. I feel feel good about where everything's going. Yeah, so today we are talking specifically about a new product edition and a significant one. This is really, I would say, how I got my start. Um, what I like venturing into like what I would consider to be like really print on demand in its uh I can't say in its like full extent, I guess, but like my initial exposure was Amazon merch and it was like in a box. It was like standard t-shirt, premium t-shirt. That was the only two products available. And when I thought of print on demand, I thought Amazon merch t-shirt. And then I one day was like, oh crap, you can sell other products. And I really went on like a tear listing a bunch of coffee mugs on Amazon seller central and kind of the rest is history. Cause I went, I started going down the rabbit hole from there. And so now we have what coffee mugs on my designs. Yeah. We just released the 11 ounce ceramic uh, coffee mug and a 15 ounce ceramic coffee mug from Swift POD. And uh, those are the white versions. And we have the black versions coming next week as well. So it'd be four nice, different man. mugs. I saw the the pricing too. Uh, and it was like highly competitive. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. So a POD oh. offers good pricing and allows us to offer good pricing. So the mugs, uh, the mugs are competitive. Agreed. Yeah. It's crazy how widely you see some like how, how the mug pricing specifically can vary from different uh, production partners. Cause <laughs> I kind of got trapped using gear bubble, kind of what I was just alluding to referencing like me in 2017 and my initial exposure and you know the mugs that used to be like four dollars 95 cents or even like i think a 11 ounce white mug might have even been like cheaper than that if i remember but now they're up to like seven eight dollars you know they're like absurdly priced you know and it's hard to make any profit unless you want to yeah. charge 25 to 30 bucks a mug which actually i did do on amazon seller central this past fourth quarter and i mean it definitely impacted sales but anyways you're charging a lot less than that so that's gonna be great yeah, I agree. And uh, we try to keep our pricing as low as we possibly can. It's like looking at the right print providers and the pricing they offer and uh, bringing them in. Of course, quality is a big focus and speed of production is another big focus. But pricing is one of the top priorities for us, keeping that as low as we possibly can. Yeah. And like, I'm assuming there's not really like hidden fees, right? When we see the pricing, it's like the actual price. Because that's one of the things I noticed Gearbubble was doing. It was like, here's the price. But then if you actually look on the back end at what you were charged, there was like transaction fee, uh, this extra fee, whatever it is, you know, and those little things added up. Yeah. Like when we show our pricing, that's the pricing you get. There's no additional fees or hidden fees or anything like that. So you get the pricing you see. And of course, if you're on a pro plan or a pro plus plan, you actually get uh, discounts too. So if you're on a free plan, you already get good pricing, but if you're on a pro plan, you get a 5% discount. And if you're on a pro plus plan, you get a 10% discount on our fulfillment costs. And you already know I'm on the pro plus plan. So, <laughs> and mainly because that also allows us to do the 120, uh, selection at a time, right? Yeah. You select up the 120 listings and process different, uh, actions in bulk, or that's creating mock-ups or publishing products. Uh, yeah, it's uh, up to 120 at a time. Yeah. That's amazing, man. So did you want to do like a demo and show us the new, uh, canvas system, which helps us take like our t-shirt designs and optimize them for coffee mugs and then bulk publish today? Yeah, let's do it. So I can show you the canvas system, basically create a print ready uh, mug file, I'd say, and then also show you the publishing process of the mugs. Yeah, that sounds awesome, man. I uh, And before we started recording, I was doing um like the weekly kind of live stream for my private community and uh, showed them the, the video that you shared with with, uh, with with me. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready and I'll add your your screen to the broadcast. I will share screen now. Cool, cool. Yeah, man, the coffee mugs, definitely big potential. And this is something I've been doing for a while where we just take the t-shirt designs and, you know, it's like they're they're in a vertical box, you know, a vertical um, orientation. So it translates really well to coffee mugs. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And uh, one thing I really like about this Canvas system is I don't think that anybody that I'm aware of is doing anything like this. Because again, with my designs, we're trying to enable bulk production. So instead of you repeating the same task over and over, trying to make it so you can just, re you can just do it once hit a sync button or whatever it may be and apply it in bulk. So for our Canvas system, we applied that same concept to it. Uh, so I'm going to select all 20 of these. And uh, the Canvas system just up here. So I'm going to take all 20 of these designs I have selected here. And they're all built for T-shirts. So 4,500 by 5,400 pixels at 300 PPI. 
So now if I go into Canvas, um, I can, of course, adjust the sizing and placement of this now. But over here, we had this little select template. And today, I kind of want to show you the mug system. So every product we offer is going to have a template built into the Canvas system. So you just click it. It'll give you the exact dimensions that are needed to print this file for the print providers. So for instance, the uh, white 11 ounce mug, I select that. I'm going to actually fit this into the canvas. So you hit now, fill vertical. Yeah, I did that just because the design was like, again, that. Yeah. yeah. No, that's right good there. to note just because like you, you're breezing through it, making it look easy. I want people to know yeah, like, oh, yeah, there's a button right there. <laughs> so instead of you dragging the corner every time, hit the button and it just does it for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So in that case, when I switched over to the mug template, the design was too big. So I hit uh, fit vertical and hit horizontal or hit fit vertical in this case. So yeah. it fits into that vertical space. Um, now it's still a little too big in my opinion for a mug because I want to print this on the back and front side basically. So the, I'm going to duplicate this, but I'm going to make it a little smaller first. Um, put it over on the edge. We have these shortcuts down here too. So you can hold and control on your arrow key and it pushes over about 10 pixels like okay. this. Um, I'm going to duplicate that. Again, hold it and control shift now and like the right arrow key and I'll put it on this side and then do that again about five pixels or five uh, strokes over. So now I have that where I want. So if I, you can also rotate through the listings you have selected. So you can see the other one has the old uh, t-shirt template. I go back and then this is what's really nice. I can hit the sync button. It's gonna apply the positioning of these to all 20 of these. So it's based off this top left dot. So that's good to know. That's how the and position duplicate. works. Yeah, it's duplicate too. So and anything you do, so the canvas, which we have right here, the uh, duplication, the positioning, all that alignment, so I hit sync. Now it's going to place all those in the exact same spot. So That's again, amazing. you can do this in bulk instead of doing it one by one. Um, it's also good to note that you can go through and, and manually adjust these too. So if you want to manually adjust one or two of them, you can do that. Just don't hit the sync button when you're on it or sync them all to that, what mm -hmm. you have on this particular canvas. But you can adjust these manually however you see fit. So if some of these needed resized, like in this case, when, or maybe I want when to When you hit with, apply, it'll it'll that's when it saves, right? Yeah, so when I hit apply, it's going to create the print ready file. And I'll put cool. that in a file slot. So I'll go ahead and do That's that. That's so cool. Yeah, move this over a little bit. So for instance, if I want to adjust this one just a bit, I could do that and then just keep going. But if I felt good about these, yeah, I just choose the uh, <clears throat> the file slot to place it into. In this case, this is another feature too. I already have an actual print file in there. But to give you an example, the 11 ounce mug, I can actually just overwrite files now instead of having to go delete them, then place yeah, the file that's awesome. there. So I'm just going to overwrite that file with these new ones. And that's queued up over here. Dude, that's a, so you're just making these minor improvements. Like even what you just showed, anybody who is watching this that's used my designs, like you've you've been there, I've been there, where you have to go back, delete, and it's not even a big deal. Like you can delete in maybe two clicks, plus you type the word confirm and then, you know, but um, yeah, so now it's like, you don't even need to do that. Just click yes, overwrite. And you just showed us how to do this to 20 designs. Yeah. But like we were saying earlier, like with the pro plus plan, you could do this to 120 designs. So that obviously factored into my approach prepping for Q4, me and Marielle split our Etsy shop. I'm like, hey, Marielle, when you're doing designs, like, can you just cap it at 120 at a time so that I can just pop them into my designs? You know, if it's 121, it's a problem. If it's 120, it's perfect. And yeah. It's been easy. Yeah, 100% agree. Um, And that's what's so good about this Canvas system. Like you said, you can just create these print-ready files now in bulk, up to 120, by the way, if you're on the Pro Plus plan. So you can go create mug, cam like, and they're perfectly optimized for the printers. So for mugs or t-shirts and all the other products we uh, offer, like stickers, we'll be able to do that quickly. But um, in this example, I want to show you like the publishing side too, because I have this file ready. I already generated mockups, but just to show users how that works. Um, let me go 11 ounce. So we have a few mockups here. We have a bunch more coming. So if I wanted this one, for instance, I could use this 11 ounce mug and then generate the mockups. I'll generate a preview. Yeah. Um, I already created these, so I don't need to actually run this, but kind of give you a preview of what that looks like. Takes a minute. So that one's a little Perfect. bit off because I think that's the new print file I created. But let me show you what these look like. Nice. So you need to generate these mugs, these mockups in bulk. And we are making improvements to the uh, mockups and of course the Canvas system with guidelines and placement. So you can get it exactly perfectly centered. Yeah. The guidelines gonna be amazing. That'll help. Yeah. That'll help a bunch. But let's say in this case I was um ready to publish these as uh, mugs. So I just go up here. I have all 20 of them selected. My data in this case is already done essentially. Real real quick too, man. Like just a reminder under the more actions where you do like the image, uh, the image, what is it called? Where you can like manipulate them. So like if you wanted to, if you were like, oh man, for some reason the black mugs are selling better than the white, but my design's optimized for a white mug. 
yeah. know, you can do in bulk, like you can do the color overlay and just put a oh. white, you know? Yeah, that's a good example. So maybe I want to take, so especially when we offer the black mugging, like you have the white version of your design and the darker right. versions to go on each of the mugs. So in this 11 ounce one, I'm going to take this in bulk. I'll do that. Like what you said, more actions. Just because uh, I know overlay. other people do this too, man. I, I see people that like ask me like, is this a good idea? And I mean, I'm like, well, this is how I used to do it on Amazon where I get infinite listings at no cost, you know, and you can yeah. take the same approach for Etsy. Maybe it's up to you. I agree hundred percent. That's a good idea actually. So I'm going to take that original, you can see this one's a darker color. So that'd be on the white mug. Now I'm going to make a white version of this. Um, I'm just selecting my, the print file I created earlier and I'm just gonna do a color overlay in bulk. It's got all 20 of those um, queued up. Shouldn't take very long. I'm going to place that in this file slot here. So that's already done. So now yeah, see, if, look how easily he just made them for the black mugs. Like that took a, like, now I could use that for the black seconds. mugs. Yeah. It's so crazy. <laughs> so, and it works for oh. these type of designs too, because this is mostly just a text based design. There's not a bunch of different colors. It's all one color. So that makes it easy, right? To apply color overlay. You can also do pattern overlay, which will print really right. well on mugs as well. So that's another example, but in this case, I'm going to probably find a pattern. I just feel like if there's like some, some trending pattern that you start seeing emerge in 2023, like inevitably something's going to come. Boom. Yeah. You just apply it on everything at like at scale, you know? Yeah, I agree. I'm actually going to try the pattern overlay because I'm kind of curious to, I haven't tried this yet. Let's go with this watercolor look. I'm going to change this and we'll create. Dude, when I watch you use my designs and when I use it myself, obviously, but I haven't gotten into the mugs, I feel like finally we're, we're here. We're in the future. You know, yeah. we don't have flying cars yet, but we got, we got my designs. <laughs> That's true, man. <laughs> you know, instead of spending, you know, seven, eight hours a day, on a full, if you're a full-time print on demand seller, you can spend less than an hour and get more work done. So I agree. Yeah. Look how beautiful those are. So this, yeah, I want to try this because I haven't tried it yet. And it applies like the, the gradient too. So they're different. Like that's yeah. awesome. So that, that's a good idea because the, cause it's a large, um, the original pattern file is kind of large. So it covers that space. So that does, that's, that's, that's awesome right there. So each of these, these gradients. The one you just used, for instance, this is in there for everybody, right? Yeah, that one's like public. And we're yeah. going to add, by the way, we're going to add a bunch more of those pretty soon. And image effects. So if you want to add like a distress look or anything like that, weathered or grunge, we're going to start expanding that library in a big way. Nice, man. Awesome. So if this was ready to go, I could basically just hit products. This is our test, our demo account. So I'm actually going to change this category. Oops, home and living. I think it's kitchen and dining. And then, yeah. There's a drink where there we go. It's all the way <laughs> all down. The categories there. aren't required, but you know, why yeah. not <laughs> get it all the way into mugs. And of course you can map your data fields here. However you see fit. These are kind of built for t-shirts, but this, it works for this example. Um, under home and livings where you'll find our mugs. Now you got stickers and mugs. So right now we have the 11 ounce, 15 ounce. This one I created for 11 ounce and you see the pricing here. So 553 plus 499 for shipping from Swift POD. And originally your bubble. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's good to hear. Yeah. So it's, of course, it's only one color. You'll get this error, by the way, because it's set to the default, which is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. It's not actually an error, just like a warning. So I could change this to the actual mug file. So that's the print file um, that you would use. It's going to generate a preview. And we're working on, by the way, a mock-up system will be real time for mugs and everything with the warping, which is quite a bit of work. So when that's done, you'll be able to just generate your mock-ups in real time. Now, of course, this mug file mock-up's not the best, but we'll use it anyway. And um, in the future, we're going to allow you to use more than, um, we're going to allow you to do multi-product publishing with different print file requirements. Right now it has to be the same dimensions. So that okay. allow you to add that 15 ounce mug or add a black and white mug, et cetera, or a mug and a t-shirt and a hoodie to the same. It's a different print file. Yeah. That should okay. be ready next week, actually. So I'm going to go to next. Let's add in a price. And I'll just go through this. See, these are because it's a PSD for the mock up, so you have to generate it, but you don't need to. So I'm just going to publish this. Okay. That queue up and generate all those mock ups for me. So this example is not the best because the print file I created is not like I didn't have the placement right, but but people will get the idea, I believe. No, but what you just accomplished in like 10 minutes was uh, seriously impressive. So I think everybody gets that. You know, this is, this is raw. It just went live uh, this week or was it last? This barely went live two days ago, two or three days ago. Yeah. The mugs did. The canvas system came uh, earlier, uh, yeah, last week, late last yeah. week. So I mean, yeah. So you get a pass because I know you're gonna, you know, add the uh, the orientation thing. I think is like gonna be the biggest like in short term improvement just to make sure we get the design centered and whatnot. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's All it. Right. That's how quickly you can generate, you know, 
print ready files for any of the products we support or any custom you know product different custom dimensions you can set here um and then resize realign position duplicate and sync it across all your listings and create those files and then of course now create mugs too create and sell mugs yeah. no that's amazing man and the guys like when you have a best-selling design uh at a minimum you know get in here and uh, make it available on a mug you know what i mean if it's selling on a shirt make it on a mug you know and you said eventually too will this be available can we do like a listing that has mugs and t-shirts or is that kind of like getting a little bit too too like is that working against you at some point because if when it's apparel it's like okay t-shirt sweatshirt hoodie but then mug doesn't really seem like maybe that'll confuse the algorithm yeah i think i don't think it's a bad idea if it's not too many products so for instance a hoodie and a camping mug like mm -hmm. a camping hoodie and mug i think that makes sense um but it oh, really yeah. depends. You want to be able to have enough. I think on Etsy, especially, you want to be able to have enough space to have your tags and titles, descriptions optimized for one or two products mainly. Yeah. But, but I'm really curious to see what people come up with and see what they do. Uh, rather, like, you want to sell a mug, a hoodie, and a t shirt in one listing, you can be able to do that. Or stickers. So if you want to sell stickers, a mug, and a, a t shirt in one listing, uh, things like that. Eventually, wall art and all that too, when we roll that out. Yeah, the wall art, dude. I can't wait for that. Me too. Even the digital side, I mean, it's still like, got so much potential we've seen some shops that are doing just silly silly numbers with their with their wall art so digital wall art i should say yeah <laughs> they so, frame it that way <laughs> yeah. yeah it's print ready uh wall art that people are yeah. buying and downloading and then they print it at home or take it to a print shop yeah all right man well hey unless there's something else to show off uh this was incredible and i've got some work to do now because i need to get a bunch of mugs posted to my etsy shop so uh curtis man i appreciate it yeah, I appreciate it, Ryan. Thanks for having me on. And uh, one quick note that next week, I think we'll be rolling out our AI feature, like artificial intelligence to be able to generate graphics on demand. So I did want to mention that. Um, look out for that because it's gonna it's just the start of some really amazing things we have coming down the pipeline. Dude, he always has to leave us like with a cliffhanger that makes us just be like, no way, no way. You know, I remember you were like, we're going to do multi multiple products in one listing. I was like, dude, no way. What, 2024? And it was done in like two months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's here now. That was a big update too, but so cool, it man. allows a lot of flexibility. All right. Well, anybody watching that's not already using my designs, they can sign up for free, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can sign up for my designs free and comply, can try it completely free. You can sell products on Etsy. You have up to two gigabytes of free cloud storage space. If you invite friends, we have a referral system. You get one gigabyte per referred user to uh, oh, free extra smart. cloud storage space. Awesome. Hey. Curtis, thanks for being here. Everybody, please sign up if you haven't already using the link in the description. It'll be the first one. And uh, that's it, man. Thank you again, Curtis. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Talk to you later.